if you're watching this video right now, that means that I was able to salvage some kind of content out of the rest of today. If you haven't seen my previous video, please go and check it out. It's about July 7th, 7-7, AKA the RX-7 day, which has lately turned into just a general celebration of all rotaries. So I went to uh, Mobara Twin Circuit. It was a really, really great day. So please go and check it out. From now, we're, we, I went home. Uh, I got a quick shower just refreshing a little bit did some work because I it is a Wednesday today so there is still work to be done um, and now I'm trying to head over to Daikoku PA uh, to see if there is any kind of gathering from what I saw on Twitter etc there were quite a few cars gathering but every year the police does come and shut down the whole place I had that problem last year so let's hopefully get there in time before they shut it down and get some footage and get see some of the rx7s whether they're from the other event or uh just other people that weren't there so let's go and quickly check it out and we made it it's open the police have not shut it down yet i heard some rumors that it might be already shut but rumors are rumors and here we are i'm so happy So we were able to make it before they shut it down. Unfortunately, it seems quite empty, although it is very early. But hopefully they don't shut it down before uh, other people arrive. So let's just look at what's going on here. I've seen this car before, but can't remember where. Maybe at a stand station event. Must be on air suspension. We got a stock looking RX-7. Another stock one here. Maybe a few more FCs here today then at the track in the previous video. I like this one with the fixed headlights. And we have a few more RX-7s here. Interesting wheels on this one. Never seen that before. Yep, a few JZXs as always. Another light blue on the MEFR. And a yellow one. interesting advanced styled like Yokohama tire star styled coloring with this kind of 3d paint on the hood it's difficult to see on camera but it's there red wheels with the stripes legendary paint job but yeah no no advent stickers just the paint job more rx7s in the back here and of course, can't forget the RX-8. Another one here. I love this uh, spoiler on the back. Looks pretty nice. And something we haven't seen all day today actually is scissor doors or at least I don't think anybody had scissor doors I don't know if I would do that but to each their own and more I'm mean, yeah, here I like the combination of the carbon and the silver it definitely looks really good eights here there's a nice stock FD right next to this R32 there were a few today at Mobara but it's nice to see a completely stock one as well
this FC is quite stock as well. Celebrating Le Mans and on some nice BBS wheels. And then we also have a Cosmo here. I'm not going to pretend like I know too much about it, but as far as I know, its stock came with a three rotor 20B. And like all other Japanese cars, it's really difficult to find these days, at least not for cheap. But this one is super clean. The PA has finally kind of filled up now. Not as many RX-7s as I would have hoped to see, which is a little bit sad. Maybe everybody's at the Umi Hotaru parking area which we will definitely hit up next, probably leaving very soon. First, take a look at this NSX, not something you see very often. Awesome stuff. Nice little SW20. Not rotary related, but still gotta check out this S2000. That looks really, really nice with the Jays Racing front bumper, probably the wing as well. Ooh, I really, really want to try driving one of these. It's a cute Miata with its eyes wide open. And there's two different convertible FCs here now. Both in quite good condition. Let's take a look at the interior of this one. I didn't know these came with leather interior. I can't see too much, it's quite dark. Unfortunately, more and more RX-7 is leaving the place now. It's been Quite a bus night tonight, not gonna lie. Almost not enough cars at all to call it a proper meet. A few other RX-7s here that rolled in since earlier, including this. I can't remember if this was a Spec A or an A Spec, but this is one of my more favorite bumpers on an RX-7. Pretty sure this is the same Supra I saw today at Mobara as well. Yeah, the same paint with the stripes. refreshing to see some more RX-7s rolling in, even this late on. Got a nice FC3S as well. Again, I'm pretty sure this guy was there today too. Oh, it's a girl, I'm sorry. It's a nice white interior. Got a very good looking 180SX rolling in as well. With an RX-7 following it close behind. Crazy R32 that rolled in earlier as well. It's a 
bit dark, sorry, but got a lot of nice carbon arrow bits on it. Including the massive diffuser on the back. Got three black RX-7s here as well, and they're all wide number plate, meaning they're from the American bases. All kind of similar, but all kind of different. It's a very sick Civic here as well, with the Kaido Racer vibes and a Falcon Cage job. Sounded really good as well. This FC just rolled in right now. I wasn't able to get a photo of it driving, but candy red on R34 wheels. Looking quite nice, not gonna lie. This guy's bringing neons back. I can't lie, I like neons, but yeah, would we'll never put them on my car. Oh yeah, more RX-7s. Nice, and an A86 in the back. That one looks really, really cool. Let's check that out. I like that, but I like this too. And we got another one of these Amemia cars here. Another yellow one. I don't think this is one that we've seen today because I don't remember any of the ones we saw today having these wheels. I like this one. I like all yellow Memeo cars. We got some sevens rolling out. And an eight. We'll have a few more coming in and out. This one's pretty nice. And still a few more rolling in. This guy tried to kill me. There's actually another convertible FC coming in. Well, this just rolled in with the Amemia kit and scissor doors. That's fucking sick. So this is an RE Amemia car, custom FD with its roof cut. This owner is really nice. That is so sick. how you make friends. Let's quickly look at the inside. It's gonna be a little bit dark here, but god damn. I'm just gonna do another walk around because I can't get enough of this thing. popping the hood now. Looks like a standard two rotor. Medium 
meeting this guy just made my night. And just like that, you have a group of lots of people now. Well, you know how they say, well, that escalated quickly. Well, that actually escalated quite quickly. Um, I was contemplating for a good like 30, 45 minutes of, I was like, let's go home. Let's not go home. Let's go home. And I'm really glad that I waited out that long because when that guy with that Amemia RX-7 cut off top dropped in, that made the whole night and I'm sure that's gonna make this entire video. If you're new, please subscribe and drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite car of the evening? If it wasn't that RX-7, then I don't know what's wrong with you, but to each their own. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this coverage of Seven's Day both in the previous video at Mobara Circuit and here at Daikoku today. So yeah, looking forward to it and see you in the next video.